so uh, has impacts on, on the space demand of a street. Um, we see a lot of social interaction. Street space is not just space to move around. It's also place where people stand around. And when a car is standing around or a bicycle is standing around, we call it an obstacle. But when people do stand around, this is social interaction. This is street life. And this is something of the quality of urban life. Um, we have the storage of vehicles, bike parking, car parking. We have also to consider what's going on with Roloita, walking frames, um, all these things consume space. Then we have ecological functions, greening. Yeah? We have um, the question, what are the temperatures in summer? How do we deal with rainwater? So green and blue plants, it's all in the very limited space. We have art, we have housing, we have all the things together um, on very limited space. And of course, here in the group, when talking about logistics, um, we have to deal with a higher demand of space for uh, logistics, for delivery activities. And uh, we can see here, everybody has learned how to order online during the COVID uh, lockdown. And it came back to uh, a little bit uh, less than we had in, in 2021, but it's still growing, growing, growing. And this has impacts on um, our street life as well. Um, it has impacts. It's always a bit later here. I can see it. Um, you should. <laughs> Funny. Where is it? Uh, Michael, I actually cannot see your presentation, so I, I wanted you to see that I. Yeah. It confuses me a bit. I, I'm I'm sharing now, um, um, Michael. I'm sharing. It's not switching forward. Just let me check why. You're not seeing what I want you to see. Sorry for the technical problem. Yeah, that's what you should see. So the last mile is a real challenge uh, for everybody. Um, we see here the, the problems, uh, how it's interfering with the cycle, uh, with cycling or with public transport. These vehicles being parked just or being uh, left for the time of the delivery uh, on the on the lane space. So that's uh, a big problem. And um, here we see the dream that the delivery zone is available. And here we see the reality um, that these delivery zones are quite often occupied. Um, this is a big problem in particular in Germany as the fines uh, and the enforcement level is pretty low. Um, one of the reasons um, is that simply the existing car fleet, even though it's slightly growing, consumes so much more space than before. Here we see one of the problems and um, simply that a, a vehicle like the Volkswagen Golf grew like, like many, many other car types, about half a meter in length and 20 centimeters in width. The average growth um, of the European car fleet is um, over the last 20 years, 20 centimeters. And all together, end to end, the car fleet now consumes without any vehicle more already 50,000 kilometers road space end to end uh, in the EU. So uh, this is a, a problem that cities uh, face and where we, in fact, don't have a good answer. Um, and that's the situation that we have. Um, that's not really now delivery, but it's part of logistics. All the larger vehicles having problems in the narrow streets due to uh, illegal parking or the increasing size of vehicles, not leaving enough 
space. Talking about space, if we want to promote cycling, we need more space for uh, bike parking in our neighborhoods where there is no space on the private uh, ground. We need more space for electric uh, charging. Um, we have to uh, multiply the infrastructure in our city by a factor 10, and we see that will consume space. It's also a problem of the width of vehicles when the cable uh, collecting cable is uh, going into the lane and exactly on the height of um, the steering bar of bicycles. All the so-called micro-mobility uh, vehicles should have stations, um, including the cargo bikes and uh, also car sharing, which is um, a big relief here um, in terms of car ownership, but it requires also space. And of course, social communication and all the uh, things like the street cafe that we see on the bottom right, um, street space as, as space for kids to play, um, parklets that all require space. Talking about delivery, here's some um, delivery space uh, example in Paris, where you have these livraison um, areas, and here we see in a narrow street that it works. There are also dedicated zones, delivery zones for cargo bikes, which I think is a quite interesting example. Um, Barcelona, where some, some of us uh, just met last week. Uh, we have the delivery zones in uh, Barcelona, very well organized, 30 minutes, and already uh, showing how regulation and enforcement are two parts of the solution. Otherwise, um, it doesn't work as it does. The situation in Germany is that we don't have a dedicated sign for delivery zone, but we will get it. And so there's a revision of the German Highway Code. Uh, the delivery zone will be introduced. Um, it will only work with enforcement. And um, here you see the reaction of uh, the main big uh, tabloid in uh, Germany when we converted a car parking zone into a delivery zone for eco uh, for for low emission vehicles. And you see. Uh, the headline says car drivers are annoyed by eco parking space and that eco parking space is a delivery zone. So how to reclaim street space then? That's the, the big topic. And of course, looking first, the, the, the modal choice for the daily trips. Bremen is not bad, but we have the problems um, in our street space still with the number of cars. Bike logistics is one of the answers in the logistics area so smaller vehicles and here we see the micro hub uh, in the downtown area and quite interesting and not really expected by everybody is that it's used for heavy items so we have uh 68 uh, 63.8 average weight uh, kilograms per shipment which uh, shows it's not only for small items and of course, cycle friendliness of a city is one of the topics and is supporting uh, the delivery by cargo bikes or the use of cargo bikes in general. Talking uh, as a result of ULAX, um, impact what And we have to see that in Germany, 30% of all trips are related to shopping that makes 10% of the transport related CO2 emission. And the question was, what's the potential for cargo bikes and especially cargo bike sharing? Um, that's the FITIA project. And the result without FITIA reducing trips, 56% would have used a car and we have done it in two years. So it's um, a result more than 50% of the cargo bike trips replaced car trips. So there's a huge potential that we can exploit. Um, what about the EGUM, the working group on uh, urban space? 
So we have currently uh, 17 modules um, as solutions and just a brief view into a very few. Um, question to cities, what are the incentives for smaller cars? Um, there's not much. The two cars in terms of parking fees pay currently exactly the same. So with digital means, we could see that we in the future have parking fees according to the required space. So uh, to the size of vehicles, which is not an easy topic, neither technically nor legally, but it's something we should aim at to give incentives for smaller cars. Here we see an example from North America, a dedicated parking for smaller cars here on the supermarket space in Vancouver. The topic of car sharing, use it, don't own it, so replace the number of cars. And my city with a half a million inhabitants, about 30,000 users of car sharing and more than 8,000 uh, gave up car ownership or did not buy a car. And if we want to have the same impact on street space, with parking garages, this would require an investment of 150 to 200 million euro. So the message is car sharing is a very important tool if you want to reduce car ownership in a city where you don't depend on the car for your daily trips because it's a cycling city, good public transport city and so on. And 80% of our car sharing users don't have a car in their household. So it's really replacing the first car in the household that here you see the stations that we implement. Um, here we see the growth rate, so it's growing, 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 and we see quite a future, a future potential. Um, then how can we use digital means? Uh, we have ESA, we have the intelligent speed assistance. Why don't we call as cities for intelligent parking assistance so that the car refuses to be left behind in a space where it doesn't belong? So parking according to rules. So that's how it may look like in the future. No parking in this location. Yeah, and this is just an example out of the 17 modules that we have. These are the rather spectacular um, examples. And with that, I would like to thank you for your attention and hope that we can continue this exchange uh, around the e as well. Yeah.